there, under the rainbow, out to these, the three Mark Ones, take their place at the head of the phalanx of Spitfires and Hurricanes, assembled on both the grass and the hard runways. now taking centre stage, the Spitfire 14. On the 10th of May 1940, that Winston Churchill, who was later to become Queen Elizabeth II's first Prime Minister, first became the holder of that position. By then, swathes of Europe were falling to the Germans. Luxembourg, Belgium, and the Netherlands were invaded within weeks during May. France was in a precarious position and fought valiantly but could not delay the inevitable. And in late May, there was no option but to evacuate the British Expeditionary Force from the beaches of Dunkirk in Operation Dynamo. France duly fell on the 16th of June 1940 and Hitler's next target was Britain. The High Command prepared Unternehmen Seelöwe, Operation Sea Lion. For the Luftwaffe, one of the primary objectives was to knock out the RAF, but the RAF, not least in the form of Fighter Command, would be a formidable opponent. The 10th of July 1940 is the date officially recognised as the start of the Battle of Britain, the first phase being to destroy coastal objectives and channel shipping. 
The 3,000 or so airmen officially credited with involvement in the battle, including those from 15 overseas countries, are forever known as the few, after the phrase spoken by Winston Churchill in the Commons on the 20th of August 1940, and which heralds the arrival of our Duxford wing of hurricanes and spitfires. The gratitude of every home in our island, in our empire, and indeed throughout the world, except in the abodes of the guilty, goes out to the British airmen, who, undaunted by arts, unwearied in their constant challenge and mortal nature, are turning the tide of the world war by their prowess and by their devotion. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. section then of our big wing formation now on the ground the front section about to run in once again from the motorway end for their brakes to land this has been a very different very reflective Battle of Britain air show this year and as the final section of our Duxford wing prepares to recover we offer with this our last salute of the day to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II.